This past Saturday, Heath and I were invited to MC a roast for a mutual friend that was moving out of town. We were delighted to do it, but the guy we were roasting is exactly the kind of guy you hate to roast. He has no flaws. He's in good shape, he's good looking, he's confident, he's talented, he's intelligent, he seems to have a new woman on his arm every weekend, so he's not exactly the cornucopia of personal defects that you hope for in a roast victim. So most of us are forced to make jokes about the number of different women he'd slept with in the time we knew him. Now, it's a roast, and in a roast, the guest of honor isn't the only guy that gets ripped on. Everybody rips on everybody, and that's the fun of it. We make fat jokes about the fat guy. We make bald jokes about the bald guy. We make timid jokes about the black guy, and I'm the atheist guy, so they make atheist jokes about me. Now, it's a roast. I'm a good sport about this stuff, so I smile and I laugh along. Hell, I started making God jokes early on, so I wasn't about to take anything said about me or my beliefs personally. But there was one brief exchange in the roast that I thought was worth reflecting on. Now, before we get to the exchange, I need to play a clip to set it up. This is a skit that I wrote that revolved around a mock scrapbook of memorabilia that I was leafing through. It's a bunch of, bunch of lovely memories that we have together. And there's a couple of things in here that I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is uh, this is your Rewards Plus card from the abortion clinic. You can hold on to that. <laughs> and, oh, dude, you almost, you almost filled it out. This is his New York City fuck list. And he almost checked everything off of here. Holy shit. I think the only ones he didn't check off were uh, Mermaid, Zoroastrian, and someone with who I am in a loving and honest relationship. So... <laughs> You can, you can, <laughs> you can keep that. There's, there's. <laughs> Trust me, that clip eventually matters to this story. Anyway, a little later, the dude that we all knew was going to bomb is up. It's this awkward four minutes of him trying to figure out why he'd volunteered for this in the first place. And as he wrapped up, he closed by turning to me and making corrections regarding two things I had said in the evening. Yo, we had some times. And yo, by the way, we fucked mermaids. We did fuck mermaids. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm preach on that. Like, check that shit off the fucking list. Believe in God, man. Try it. Uh, yo, listen. I love you, man. Yo, listen. For real? I love you. I love these people. And that's it. I don't do this shit. He, he tried real hard, guys. All I'm, all I'm saying is there's a... I'm way more likely to buy the mermaid thing than the God thing. So... <laughs> Now, like I said, this is a roast. I definitely didn't take his little, hey, man, believe in God thing personally. Earlier in the night, one guy did a mock dialogue where I tried to explain the intellectual justification for my atheism to St. Peter, which was actually fucking hilarious. And another guy thanked me for providing an example of atheism that would lead so many people to Christ. It's a roast. That's the point. And if the only time a Christian had ever said to me, hey, man, you should try believing in God, was during a roast, I wouldn't have bothered to reflect on it at all. But I think we've all heard this or the equivalent of it plenty of times before. You say, I'm an atheist, and somebody just stares at you wide-eyed and jaw gape and offers an incredulous, really? It's hard to imagine this kind of reaction to other groups. It's hard to imagine a person saying, have you tried not being a Jew or Muslim, huh? How the fuck did that happen? Or did you become a Christian because Buddha disappointed you? But at least most of this country, when you meet an atheist, it's socially acceptable to throw holy water at him and yell, the power of Christ compels you. Now, in the interest of fairness, there are also plenty of places in this country where you get the same blank face stare if you said you were a Christian. Places like institutions of higher learning, science labs, and the East Village. And there are parts of this country, like the one where I grew up, where you could earn such a stare for any answer to the faith question other than Baptist, so we're not the only ones who face this kind of shit. That being said, I think it's fair to say that through most of America, atheist is the only answer to the religious questions that people feel no social qualms at all about trying to talk you out of. And I think it says a lot about religious people that they're more comfortable with you having a religion that is irreconcilable with their own than they are with you having no religion at all.